Hey, if you're in sales or marketing, I'm wondering if you can resonate with what I'm about to say. Um, you know, I've, I've been doing sort of inside sales, um, email outreach, uh, lead gen for decades. I've been doing it very successfully. I've, uh, for a number of software companies, technology companies, and I even, um, in the past nine years, I, I ran a, um, lead gen business where we had seven, eight, nine customers at a time and charged just based on per lead and did very well just on, on really like a five or 10 hour work week and a team behind me, um, setting up appointments and, and leads for customers and something changed, something fundamentally changed for the worse. <laughs> um, earlier in 2022, around January or February, March around, I guess about the time that a lot of the COVID bullshit was, um, coming to an end, the regulations and the vaccine threats and everything else. And for whatever reason, uh, people stopped responding to even, even really good messaging. You know, in terms of, you know, so we're talking about messaging. And I've always, being an MBA, being, you know, kind of trying to sound professional and do things the way that, executives would expect the tone, the very formal, you know, not, not so human language, more, more appropriate language, um, you know, clever presenting the value proposition for the company in a way that was intriguing and closing in a very formal way, opening in a very formal way. And I, I sort of had a formula. I was working for so many years that I could just take on new projects and, and run these multi-step uh, email campaigns and get enough responses from the right people to be able to introduce my clients and everybody's happy. And I don't know whether you guys are, are seeing this, but in the people I'm talking to, it's kind of across the board. Um, like I said earlier this year, it just, something changed and people, the, the open rates went way up. You know, it used to be like 15% open rates were, were good and suddenly you're, you can get 50% or, or higher on, a, on an average campaign and yet nobody responds. And I, I, what, I, what I believe to be true is that something fundamentally changed in the world this year. The human psyche, the human consciousness is changing. People are tired of bullshit. Um, we are responding to honesty and truth and the sort of formalities, the holding yourself back. How, how are we expecting to create relationships, with, which is what we're talking about. We're talking about a business relationship of trust between two, two or more people. How do we expect to create relationships if we're not willing to be honest and open and genuine and human and loving toward, toward one another? And so, for a very long time, I, I went through a spiritual awakening, um, a genuine spiritual awakening, um, about seven years ago, a long time ago. And I've always held the, the um, belief that the right thing to do would be to bring in all the spiritual principles into my work so that I never do anything that is less than 100% transparent and honest, so that um, I'm genuine, I'm, I am myself. Uh, and, and the work that I do represents those values, the spiritually, uh, the, the reality, the values of reality, that, that what is true is real, for example, that, that love is the answer to every challenge um, and the, you know, to every question, the response needs to be loving. And while I've believed this to be true, and I thought ideally um, you could do this in business, the problem was it wasn't very successful. I had tried a couple times in the past um, to be more human and, and, and to, uh, do things in, in this way. And I really didn't yield the, the results. So, you know, out of just, you know, practical, um, you know, consideration, I, I decided just to keep doing things kind of the way that I, that I had been doing. Um, but now, now we're into this where, where I've gone through, you know, so many months where it's just been a drought. It's like, you're, it's like you're a fisherman, and you're and you're out there working hard trying to trying to catch find your catch and but there's there's no fish in the water 
But yet there are fish in the water because there are human beings reading the messages in, you know, in the types of roles that we're trying to go after with, with a solution, with a technology platform or with a proposition of some sort, but we're just not getting the responses. Or if you do get a response, it's, uh, check back in a few months. It's not a priority right now. Um, there, there's this, there's this low energy out there. I, I feel that that people are going through something where there is some kind of low energy. There's a there's kind of a depression that's fallen over um, humanity. And I do I do my work worldwide. I have campaigns, you know, all around the world, and it's it's kind of the same. And so I've come to the conclusion. I'm you know I I don't I don't believe I know to be true that we're going through. A massive transition in the world where, where um, you know, all the lies are have to go. All the all the the cabals falling apart. Um, they're they're being conquered by the white hats. They uh, the financial system is going to change because the banking system has been rotten to the core. The media is rotten to the core with with lies and, and bullshit and propaganda. And you know, so how how do we transition into the new? into the new era. And, and if you don't follow me on this, it's probably, you, just, you probably just need to um, wait and see because there's evidence everywhere that the, the old is, 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 is dying, is, is being pushed away. It's, it's falling apart. The system is going to collapse. The current system is going to collapse and it is in the process of collapsing. There will be an economic collapse. You know, it's already happening. It's being kind of covered up. Um, the criminals that, that that have lied to us um, and tried to kill us for the past couple of years are going to be brought to justice and a lot of the the evil institutions are going to be exposed and either transformed entirely or ended so how do how do what are we supposed to do as as sales people sales and marketing people to move into the new era successfully to to um, be relevant in an era where the, the the usual good old boys club the the usual tone of professionalism and and sort of not revealing any personality and being normal all the time has stopped working and I I, I just you know I've realized I realized this it was, it was a big epiphany for me I was I was actually with my wife, you know, having some wine and, and just realized like, oh my God, that's because everyone keeps asking me like, we, we've got to do something different. You know, uh, the people I work with are saying, it's just not working. What's going on? And and the marketing teams aren't, aren't getting it done and no, nobody else, no other sales people are getting it done. I'm seeing this across the board with anybody who's being honest about it. And so I realized that, that, the new era starts now because the human psyche is already, it's already changed to something where we're not accepting. We don't have the appetite for that old mentality, that old, that old act we've been doing, this, this appropriate um, cliche ridden sort of way of, 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 of communicating with people. And I was so excited to realize that what's going to be successful is when companies drop all the bullshit, when everything they do is completely open and honest, when when it's human. And I don't mean attacking, I don't mean honesty in a sense of, of um, being you know, brutally honest. I, I mean being lovingly honest because we're talking about the great awakening, which is going to, which is in the process of touching every area of society. You know, it's not just in relationships or in your personal life or in your heart. It's, it's the way you do business. It's the way that people respond to one another, uh, the expectations of how we're meant to interact. And, and, and so we're, we're, we're seeing that we're in these times where, you know, we're, yay, Kanye, Kanye is you know, out there speaking his truth and he's being wide open and honest. Look how successful he is. Um, and, and we see this, this across the board where, where people are, are tired of the BS and responding to truth. So how, so, so what I'm, what I've just embarked on yesterday, I'm two days into this, is bringing that tone and that approach into everything I do. And not only that, but, but transforming the people around me, transforming the customers, the people who I work with to take this approach, to, to, to be more fun, to be more open, to engage people in a way that is more genuine and loving and open. 
And that's what relationships are all about. And, and sales is the business of relationships. That's what we're here to do is form relationships. So why are we trying to do that by holding back, you know, the truth, the honesty, when that's what the basis of any relationship is. It's a shared understanding of who we are. It's a, it's a collective um, celebration of what is true, of what is real, right? Um, you know, solving a real problem together in, in a way that actually solves the problem and then asking for the right price and receiving the right amount of compensation for, for having done that. It's an exciting, wonderful time because what this means is that we don't have to fake it anymore. And what people don't know, I, I, I first you know, read about this idea uh, in a wonderful book written by a business person who became spiritual, um, Michael Singer, and the book is Untethered Soul. Michael Singer, Untethered Soul. And what he explains is that the basis for energy is openness. When you have an open heart and open mind, you're filled with energy. Energy doesn't really come so much from our, you know, the food we eat and the sleep we get, although that has a, it's a factor. The energy, the real energy that drives us crazy comes from that feeling of being open and, and loving, open heart, open mind. And you think about it, when you fall in love, you're, you can't sleep. You're, 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 on, you're just like jumping around with, with, with joy and happiness when you're in love because your heart's open, because your mind's open. And it's, it's exciting. And when I went, as of yesterday, I'm two days into this, but when I go into my work with that same attitude that I'm going to be real, I'm going to be me, I'm, I'm not going to hold back anymore. And everything I do is going to be totally honest. And I'm going to inspire other people to, to, to be the same way. And, and now I, I have, you know, 10 times more energy. Now I'm agreeing to two hour sessions. I don't have to, to, to work through some interesting stuff and I'm actually enjoying it. So, you know, we've been asleep. We've been asleep. And I think there's this feeling that we always have had to respond to bullshit. Um, there's always an expectation. Well, that's normal. That's what I have to do. And I think after all the shit we've been put through in the past couple of years by people we no longer trust, institutions we no longer trust, people are done with it. And that's what the Great Awakening is all about. And if you're in sales and, and or marketing and you're seeing that you're not getting the response, we're going to go on a journey and I'm, I'm going to be here. My intention is to be here doing more videos and, and writing about it. And my, and my experiences, I'm, you know, as I, as I roll this out, it's not done overnight. It's just, it's an attitude of, you know, everything I am doing is done this way. And eventually everything I'm touching is going to be, is going to be this, this energy, this light. And we're going to talk about every detail and, and the results I'm getting, the challenges I run into. And if this resonates, um, let's come along on this journey um, because I think there's no, there's, no, there's no other way forward. The truth always prevails in the end. It just takes a while sometimes, but we're, now we're at that point. So if you're seeing the same sorts of things, if you're in marketing and sales and you're frustrated, maybe that's how you found this, this video, you're looking for some tips. I think the, tr the era of taking a new trick you know, is, is, is done. People are, are, are beyond tricks. So now it's time to, to get real and let's, let's see how, let's see how it goes, but I don't see any other way forward.